Last time on our Thursday thinking, we were thinking through, looking through the Beatitudes that Jesus began what we call the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew chapter 5. We looked at all eight of those. And what I'd like to do uh, starting today is to just continue on through the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew's cha Matthew chapters 5, 6, and 7, taking it just one one section at a time when Jesus brings something up. And I want us to, to think through these things together. Think through these teachings of our Lord and Savior and to make sure that we are applying them to our lives and make sure that we are being part of the kingdom of God. As Jesus was talking about the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, his kingdom and his and citizens in his kingdom. And if we are wanting to be kingdom citizens, then we're going to have to follow what our Lord and Savior taught and apply it to our lives as well. And I'm going to pick up today in Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5 verse 13. I'm going to look at verses 13 through 16 today where Jesus says there, first off, you are the salt of the earth, he says. Telling his disciples, he says, you are the salt of of the earth. That's what he wants us to be, to be the salt of the earth, to be the, the difference in this sinful world. Just like we understand how salt adds flavor, salt preserves, salt has use, it has purpose. It is, salt is useful because of how it is different from, from everything else. We have got to be the salt of the earth and to be different from the world around us, he goes on to say. But if the salt loses its flavor, its saltiness, then how shall it be seasoned? What, what good is it then? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. Because what they would do with the salt rocks that they would use is they would use all the salt they could, but once the, the all the saltiness of the salt rock was used, they'd throw it out into the roadways, and it would be you know trampled down and basically become part of the road. Jesus says, if salt loses its flavor, then then it's just it, it it's just a rock. I mean, if, if salt had no flavor, if salt had no taste, then what, what good is it? Well, Jesus says it's good for nothing. So if we are going to be the salt of the earth, we have got to have that, that season, that flavor. We have got to be like God, and we've got to be different from the world around us. If we're no different from the world around us, then we have no saltiness. We have no flavor. We have no effect, no change, no influence on the world around us in our lives, in our own lives and in the world around us. He goes on then to say in another, another way, he says, you are the light of the world. Another illustration we can think of and how we know how light works. We use lights to light up a dark room. We use lights on cars and we have flashlights because we want to be able to see in the dark, cast out the darkness, flood the light, flood the darkness with the light. We know that light is only light because of how it is different from the darkness. If light was no different than the darkness, then it when it exist or or if you've even noticed a you know a light that is um, losing its light and it's dimming and it's so dim that it's practically still dark it that's that's useless jesus says we are to be the light of the world and he goes on to say a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden Right. If you look in the distance, if you're ever traveling somewhere on in the mountains, on hills, or even across fields and so on and so forth, that in the dark you can see in the distance when there is a house that is lit up with light. He even says, verse 15, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket. You know, if you lit a lamp, a candle, uh, and then, but you, then you stuck it, you covered it with a basket... Well, that's not going to do any good. But you put it on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. The idea of light, the usefulness of light, that light has to ha have it to fulfill its purpose of being different from the darkness, of shining, of showing the way, showing what we need to see. 
But again, these two things, salt and light, what makes both of them useful is how they're different from what is around them. We have, what Jesus is saying here about us being the salt and light of the world is we have got to be different from the world around us. We have got to show the light of God. We have got to show the, the, the righteousness of God in our lives, in ourselves. He says, um, verse 16, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. And glorify your Father in heaven. So Jesus clarifies it there, applies it for us, that what we're to be doing in our lives as salt and light of the earth is to let our light shine, let our saltiness be known. Our, the flavor, the, the, the seasoning of God, the righteousness of God in our lives, the good works, so that when people see us in this dark, sinful world, and they see us different. They see us acting different, talking different, responding different, treating people different, uh, handling life different in a good way, in a godly way. They will not, it's not about our glory, but that they'll come to know God and glorify our Father in heaven. But we have got to be the salt and light of the world. Jesus calls us here to be the salt and light of the world. But we're only going to be the salt and light of the world if our lives are not spent in sin. If we're, if we're only going to be a, the salt and light of the world if we're different. Excuse me, from the world around us. So let's work on being salt and light today, tomorrow, every day. Maybe this is something we need reminded of, we need to work on this. We need to reflect on ourselves and say, what, what makes me different from the world around me? Uh, what about me, you know, am I living for God? Am I imitating Christ? Am I, am I truly living in the holiness of God? Am I living differently from the sinful world around me? Let's make sure that we're being the salt and light of the earth that God calls us to be. Think about it and apply it. God bless.